Hello everyone, welcome to the Nation Bible Study. We find our entrepreneur tips from the script. That's the Nation Bible Study. And today we have Jay and I. Welcome, Jay. Hey, Jackie. It's a pleasure to be here again, uh, talking about the Bible learned. And hi, guys. Welcome to this Nation Bible Study. Awesome. And in this Bible study, we're going to have four parts. The first part is share. We're going to tell you what we promised to do last week and what we have done this week and what we did we learn from that. And number two, we're going to read the script with on this Bible study. And number three, learn what we have learned from this Bible study today and also for you, what you can take away from our Bible study for this chapter. And number four is do what we're going to do in the following weeks. For us, we're going to set our little goal and in the following week, when we come back to the same Bible study, we'll share to you um, our update and... You. There's a lot of things you can learn from what we have done or the mistake we have done, good things we have done, and hopefully you'll like it. So today we are on proverb number four, chapter number four, New Living Translation version. We'll put the link down in the description. If you have the book with you, uh, please turn to this chapter. Right, we're going to start with Share. So I'll go first and Jason will go next, right? <clears throat> Great. What I have promised what, uh, to do last week was to practice my time management skill and also um, do a little bit of uh, professional sk up skill. Um, so what I have been doing is uh, I've been tracking my time spend every day i was using a technique i call it a windows technique um, basically that means i split my day 24 hours into 12 windows so each windows equals to two hours and for every window i will assign one task to it and for example you know four windows will be assigned to sleep so sleep 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 four sleeps in one row and then I will have lunch for one hour, dinner for one hour, and so on and so forth. So I've been doing monitoring my times for more than a week. And what I found for myself is even though I plan, plan my day full, there will always be two, three windows that I just didn't complete. I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do for, during those windows time. So what I, what I learned from this is, uh, it's good to be efficient, it's good to be motivated and get out and do stuff. But uh, for me, I'm just talking about me, uh, not sure about you who are listening to our Bible study, I will have some downtime where I have to cool down myself, not doing anything um, and just chill out for those hours and after those hours I can get back to my work my normal productivity hours and do stuff that could be the following day that could means I just take a uh, two hours break and then do something else after so that that's what I found um, which is quite surprising for myself because I didn't aware I have such a sort of a productivity cycle um, and the second things I said I, I will do is to practice my t professional skill. So honestly, not doing much for this week, um, but just helping Jadison with uh, English to connect.com.br just to change the website design a little bit. And I'm still working on that. And that's me. How about you, Jay? Hey, JK, uh, 
it's so interesting and also I would say great how we learn also when we set goals for ourselves, how we learn about ourselves. Like, as you just said, you learn things that you didn't know about you just because you set, you had set goals for you for this week. And it's so, so powerful. And I encourage you who are listening to our podcast to do the same. Set goals for you, for your life, and you're going to start to learn from your your things. Things that you should, that you're going to be doing, but sometimes you can't because there will be things inside of you that you don't know yet. And it's so powerful. Hey, Jackie. Yeah, that's correct. Great. So, and for me, what I what I said, uh, I said that I was going to do was uh, some some meetings with my partner, my business, my business uh, thing that English to connect that Jackie already mentioned, uh, but it didn't happen because my partner was was busy doing other stuff, so I couldn't I couldn't meet him to discuss about the progress of our business and the next step. But uh, a, a, a very good uh, thing happened this week because I went to a, to a seminar of, of marketing, digital marketing, and my business is pretty much uh, digital. And I use internet to develop my, my business and also to teach English. Uh, online and it was uh, powerful for me to learn what I learned over there. Uh, and it, it was not uh, on the script. I, I didn't have it on my agenda to do. Uh, it was like I, I decided to go like one one night before I go because the ad about the this event, it was two two nights before the event happened. Uh, for me, it was really good because I, I could uh, notice how I, I would deal with things that uh, suddenly happen. Like I, ha I had to make a decision like quickly and uh, I noticed that my body was different because, because of this situation to make that decision because there were other things involved to get that decision. So I learned a new thing from that as well. And I also said about keep reading the book, Think and Grow Rich. Uh, I would say that I'm really a, a bit lazy reading the book. I, I said as well that I had to, to train myself how to organize my time to read because most of the time I set many different times to do things, but to read, I don't really put an effort on it. And I, I know that I have to do it because we learn a lot uh, through readings, through books. And this book, it's one special for me. <clears throat> and, but I'm, keep, I'm still reading, I'm still reading. And, I, and I'm, I'm feeling good about this book. I also recommend it to another friend. Yeah, and I'm so excited about it. That's me. Yeah, good. So we just finished sharing what we have done last week. Now we'll move on to the session two, read. Read the script of today. So today we're on Proverb chapter four. So I will read the first verse and Jason will read the next and we'll altering till the end of this chapter. You ready, Jay? Yes, man, I'm ready. Let's go. Cool. My children, listen when your father corrects you. Pay attention and learn good judgment. For I'm giving you good guidance. Don't turn away from my instructions. For I too was once my father's son, tenderly loved as my mother's only child. My father taught me, take my words to heart. Follow my commands and you live. Get wisdom. Develop good judgment. Don't forget my words 
or turn away from them. Don't turn your back on wisdom, for she will protect you. Love her and she will guard you. Getting wisdom is the wisest things you can do. And whatever else you do, develop good judgment. If you prize wisdom, she will make you great. Embrace her and she will honor you. She will place a lovely wreath on your hand. She will present you with a beautiful crown. My child, listen to me and do as I say, and you will have a long, good life. I will teach you wisdom's ways and lead you in straight paths. When you walk, you won't be held back. When you run, you won't stumble. Take hold of my instructions. Don't let them go. Guard them, for they are the key to life. Don't do as the wicked do, and don't follow the path of the boulders. Don't even think about it. Don't go that way. Turn away and keep moving. For evil people can sleep until they've done their evil deed for the day. They can't rest until they've caused someone to stumble. They eat the food of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. The way of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn, which shines ever brighter until the full light of day. But the way of the wicked is like total darkness. They have no idea what they are stumbling over. My child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart. For they bring life to those who find them and healing to their whole body. Guard your heart above all these, for it determines the course of your life. Avoid all perverse talk. Stay away from corrupt speech. Look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you. Mark out a straight path for your feet. Stay on the safe path. Don't get sidetracked. Keep your feet from following evil. Right, we just finished reading the whole chapter. Now we're going to spend five to ten minutes to re read the script for ourselves and feel free to pause the video and read the script on your own. And we'll come back for the chapter, the section three of this Bible study. Learn. See you in five to ten minutes. Feel free to give a like, to share this podcast with your friends, with your family, so you can be blessed then with this podcast. Now we're on to the section three of this Bible study, learn what we learned from the script today. I'll go first in Jesus and we'll go next. So what I, would, what I have learned is um, according to the verse 27, don't get sidetracked. Keep your feet from following evil. So what that teach me, and also combine what I have been practicing in the last week, is managing attention. Um, that's so important with our humans' attention. We only have that much attention for the 24 hours every day. And at this time, the, this 21st century that we are living, we are bombarded with information, with whole lot of things. If you don't manage your attention, your energy will be spent very easily. Even sometimes without your notice, it just gets slipped away. 
by those non-useful or meaningless things, informations. And that also brings up the other thing is objections or sometimes I refer them as um, people who talk about nonsense. We just don't have enough energy to deal with them. Uh, in my opinion, the all the energy should be spent to pursue your goal. And that's what I was doing. I, I avoiding those toxic people, you know, that uh, around me potentially uh, we can spend time together. I just avoiding that. Uh, I just spending time on myself and my family. And that's, that's what I learned today. Uh, what about you, Jay? It's so good, Jackie. It's so good. For me, uh, it started on verses 21st, the second part of verses 21st. Let them penetrate deep into your heart, for they bring life to those who find them and healing to their whole body. And then uh, 23rd, guard your, guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. <clears throat> so we are talking about wisdom, about learning, uh, what God has done to us and also what he's doing to us. And also the Bible says when we ask wisdom to God, he gives to us. And I, will, I will also will use what I said when I was sharing uh, my goals about the book that I'm, that I'm reading. And I'm, I'm very uh, impressed with the book and what I'm learning. And it's for me, it's a uh, match with these verses because when we learn something and <clears throat> we uh, let it come inside of us and we start to do what we learned, uh, our, our path will be much better because we know that we are using things that we already learned. Uh, it says that determine the cause of our life. Uh, when we have wisdom, when we are well prepared, uh, well mentored, uh, our life will be better. Especially when we are in a business, when we, we are entrepreneur and we have to make many decisions if, if we will be guided for, for someone uh, already uh, trained or well prepared, everything that you do or everything that this person advise you will be much better and you, you can uh, uh, get where you want to be much faster. <clears throat> Just because you are, you are bringing everything that you learned uh, inside, inside of you, in your body, in your heart. And when we have something like fully in our heart, uh, it's easier for us to, to decide, to keep walking, to think about the next step. Uh, what I learned is we, we need to be always learn new things, but especially from from home, I already know about what we are studying. That's me. Mm, that's awesome. And now we are move on to the section four of this Bible study. Do what we're going to do in the following week. Set ourselves a little goal. So to me, uh, what I will do is I will keep monitoring my time. So practicing time management and also practicing my te uh, technical skills as a programmer. With the time management, I found it quite interesting. It's not rocket science or anything. You don't have to read a lot of books to find out how you spend your day. 
you just have to write it down on a piece of paper and just keep the papers for a few days and then you will understand your, your pattern. Um, now I found my problem, uh, which is I need to have up and down time for every day. But what's the solution to that? How can I make the most out of it? I'm not saying I will find the answer in the following weeks, but I will monitor my time and see how that goes. How about you, Jay? Well, for me, I'll try to do, do what I had to do last week, like right, about my business to have the meeting with my partner. And apart from that, I'll keep reading the book, uh, Thinking Grow Rich. Uh, I also uh, have to finish uh, studies that I started uh, two or three weeks ago. It's about uh, leading learning, it's how to lead in this learning system, uh, learning environment, When because my business is about education. So how to lead, for example, other teachers, uh, a system of teachers and I would like to finish this course in two weeks. I'll try to do it. I'll start. I'll restart this week because I put I put that on hold. So yeah, the three things that I that I would like to do this week is to have the meeting with my partner, uh, keep reading the book, thinking grow rate, or actually finish reading, and also to restart this training of lead, leaders of learning. That's me, man. Mm. Cool. That's really cool. And that's the end of our Nation Bible study. Find out entrepreneur tips from the script. So thank you all for listening to our Bible study for today. I hope you're all enjoying so far and learn some stuff from our takeaway uh, from our Bible study. Uh, we love sharing, we love learn, we love educate ourselves. And the most important thing is um, get the word out and hopefully those words will help other people. Uh, any last word, Jay? I would say, uh, yeah, I would invite you to share this podcast and give a like and also leave your comment down below. And what are you thinking about this Bible study? What uh, did you learn from this chapter? Would be would be great for us to read what you are learning or also what you are doing. If you set goals for your life, so if they are happening or not, or if you are keeping them on track. So we'd like to know you. We'd like to know more about you. And thank you. Thank you for joining us. All right. See you. Bye. Bye-bye.